now we're gonna learn the first W which is who Sino in Tagalog and Kinsa in Bisaya we have our example here who are you Sino ka Kinsa ka or Kinsa man ka Kinsa ka or Kinsa man ka both are correct we use this word man to make it sound like in a conversational way like this kinsaman ka man has no direct translation in english but in tagalog it's more like ba sino ba and in bisaya it's kinsaman and in english it's just who and now for our next w we have what Ano in Tagalog and Unsa in Bisaya. So we have our example here. What are you doing? Ano ang ginagawa mo? Nagunsa ka. In Tagalog, we shorten words by combining it. We could also say, Anong ginagawa mo? Ano and ang were combined. And letter A in ang was omitted in Bisaya you put dash after the prefix nag because nagunsa has no meaning so we put dash to retain the meaning of the word nagunsa and now for our third W we have where saan in Tagalog and asa or aha in Bisaya. And for our example, where are you working? Saan ka nagtatrabaho? Asa ka gatrabaho? We could also say, aha ka gatrabaho. And now, for our fourth W, we have when. Kailan in Tagalog? and Kanusa in Bisaya and we have our example here when is your birthday kailan ang kaarawan mo Kanusa imong birthday birthday in Bisaya is adlaw nga natawhan which we seldom use birthday is the most common one and now for our last W, we have why. Bakit in Tagalog and ngano in Bisaya. We have our example here. Why are you crying? Bakit ka umiiyak? Nganong gahilak ka? We can also say, nganong gahilaka ka? Hello guys, this is my first video with narration. I hope you enjoyed and learned something from me. Feel free to comment and don't forget to like and subscribe.